Welcome to Newsday. Reporting live from Singapore, I'm Karishma Viswani. The headlines. An operation is underway to evacuate Ukrainian civilians. Trapped for weeks in a steelworks in Mariupol, around 100 have left so far. When the shells started landing there, I thought my heart would stop and I would not survive. The U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi assures President Zelensky during a visit to Kyiv that American support will continue until Ukraine wins the war. More mass protests in Sri Lanka as the government struggles over the crippling cost of living. New Zealand reopens its borders to international tourists for the first time in more than two years. And the most detailed 3D model of the female anatomy to help make better medical diagnoses for women. Live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday. Hello and welcome to Newsday. It's 7 in the morning in Singapore and 2 a.m. in Mariupol, where the International Red Cross and the United Nations have confirmed that they're involved in an operation to move civilians out of the city. Now, the Red Cross said a convoy of vehicles had reached Mariupol on Saturday to evacuate some of the hundreds of people trapped in the city's Azovstal steel plant. These images show evacuees arriving earlier on Sunday at their first stop in Donetsk on the Russian border. They're accompanied by Red Cross and UN staff. The Ukrainian presidency, President rather, Zelensky has tweeted, evacuation of civilians from Azovstal began. The first group of about 100 people is already heading to the controlled area. Tomorrow we'll meet them in Zaporizhia. Grateful to our team. Now they, together with the UN, are working on the evacuation of other civilians from the plant. But around a thousand more civilians are still sheltering inside the vast steelworks complex, along with around 2,000 Ukrainian fighters who are making a desperate last stand in the city that's been almost completely destroyed by Russian forces. Our correspondent Laura Bicker is in Zaporizhia for us, where the evacuated civilians are being taken. 